kind of a weird time for a hotfix, especially when they've just called a derelict shift. But, Nightwave, Glassmaker, Episode 4 is now live. And I like the fact it says, put a stop to the Glassmaker. So, time to go investigate that. Your victim was trying to contact. If Grawl was part of a Solaris United Whisper network, then Cutter must have been his handler. So this was his bolt hole. Look around. Let's see what we can learn. Weird, but yep. So, same as always, find the clues. They're pretty much going to be five of them just laying around. They're going to be in... Sorry, I see a town sculpture. Nope, I see another clue. Wow, that's too near enough next to each other. But they're going to be everywhere and they are going to be different every time. Oh, actually, that's... I like that. Uh, I kind of weirdly like that. I, want, I wish some of these were available as landing craft decorations. Next one, because it's sitting right next to it. That is... I have no idea what that is. Or what that is even for. Part of an unknown communication device. That would do it. Another one. What is this? Ooh, that actually... I've seen that before. Not in Warframe, but I've seen that before somewhere. It looks very similar. I cannot place what that is off. And another one. It is literally pointless showing where these things actually turn up. Or where they are placed because not only is each one different per person but apparently it's different placement for different ones per person all i can say is two of them were next to the entrance uh the other three i believe one is just uh can i even stand over there nope one of them is round there somewhere the other one's there and the last one Meaning that all three were at this end of the tunnel, and the other two were at the other end of the tunnel. Which means more than likely you will find some of these placed in the middle somewhere. Ooh, Protea. V Parvis. Really? That's Protea. Once you've actually found them all, uh, try and get out of this, and it will now start drawing you towards the actual glassed person. This is where the good changes come into effect, however. Now, it only uses five Cephalon Resonance. So if you mess it up, you can redo it fairly easily. You now have four chances because you can hold 20 of these rather than the two you had before. Because I, I have grown to kind of hate these. It's like, which direction am I going? A little hint towards direction and we are going would have been nice. Instead of waiting for them to go on about how they were friends with Nora. Come on, it's timed. Right, it's that one. If you get this wrong, it will, however, throw you out. Uh... Harvest. It was Protea, but never mind. Uh, flat face. That one. Uh, I'm dreading getting these wrong every time. Um, growl. Growl. Just make sure there's not another one. Ooh. I'm taking too long. 33. It's not just the pictures that are the hint, and then it stops. But it's not just the picture that's the hint. You will notice there, there was one picture at the beginning of this. Uh, oh, it, there was numbers on some. It was Grull, Parvis, 33, I can't remember, the flat face one. So there was two pictures, even though there was four actual ones. It's all different every single time but you need to pay attention to if there are words with the picture it's usually the word that is what you are looking for but you have to remember what they are 
because if that time I hit zero or you get it wrong, these platforms disappear, like the platform has, and the time runs out, you have to redo this. It's, I've only gotten the first one wrong, but I'm still ashamed with that. At Tenocon 2020, what, not even two weeks ago yet, not even 14 days ago yet, uh, well, we kind of found out who this is. I'm not going to go too far into spoilers for this, by the way, but um, the best way I can put this is Ballas was pretty much the only a Ballas type enemy we've, not enemy, character we've had in this game. In the upcoming update, there will be another one. And there's a third. All I'm saying, this may or may not be Ballas' brother. <laughs> you will get 7,000 standing for it, and that's pretty much it. It was... Oh, 11 hours ago. But why'd the forum say... Four. This was 11 hours ago, I should have done this 11 hours ago. Oh, and the dev workshop is open for Helminth as well. But you get 7,000 standing for this and you can come in and redo this as many times as you want. This is number four. Number five will bring the boss battle. They also showed, and I'm going to try and avoid spoilers here, the weapon that will come with that frost in the background. That's a first. I've never seen the frame standing there in the background, ever. Actually, I like that one quite a bit. Again, that's the little changes like that actually look pretty good. Though that's probably not meant to be there. <laughs> but for the fifth one, there is a boss battle. There is a new weapon that will come upon completing it. Hopefully, not one of those where you have to do the fifth one seven or eight times to get three parts to build a weapon. That would just be annoying. Hopefully, you take them out. And you just get the weapon either pre-built or as a blueprint that requires resources, not parts. Don't know any of that. We'll have to wait until that comes out. I'm guessing it won't be that long now considering we are 14. I think it's 14, maybe 15 weeks into this. It's been around for a while. But we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.